become refugees, and they have lessened the chance of their seeing themselves as victims. I'm not arguing that the adult children of parents who resisted the Nazis have not been affected by their parents fleeing for their lives, but having parents who are persecuted because they chose to make a stand seems to have left their children feeling stronger. I have almost finished. We need to stand tall in the memory of our comrades, tens of thousands of whom gave their lives opposing Nazism and organized to ensure never again. For today we are witnessing a shift in the dominant discourse towards xenophobia and explicit racism. As in the 1930s, there is mounting popular opposition, fueled by many in the government as well as the hysteria of the Daily Mail and other media outlets to the admission of refugees. As in the 30s, it is refugees and migrants who are taking our jobs and pushing down wage levels. Before it was the Jew, now it is the Muslim, both ideological constructions, which will create a racist stereotype as well as turning the refugee into the other. May's earlier talk of excluding the children of unofficial migrants from education, the UKIP light, light entry restrictions by the government on refugees, the Brexit fueled hostility towards giving rights to Europeans who want to live here, and the supine behaviour of the media is legitimating a hostility towards the outsider, the enemy at the gates. In a period of increasing economic insecurity and inequality, we need to oppose, whenever and however possible, any form of racism. But have no doubts if a neo-Nazi government holds power here, we will be the first of its many victims. Thank you.